Hello everybody and welcome back to Tony North Eastern. Um, as you can see I've just brought a train into the station. Um, seems like an age since uh, I've run anything in and out of here. Right, so I hope you're all keeping well and um, I hope you're ready for an, another instalment. Right, we've got a lot to do this week. Um, I want to take each wall in turn and uh, paint them and weather them up and um, then hopefully be able to glue these five sections together. Um, so there's quite a lot to do. So I think we should make a start. If we're just going to start with uh, this centre wall here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you want? The station master wants you to hang these signs up. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm in the middle of making a movie. Making a movie? You're supposed to be building the station. Anyway, it won't take you long. Okay, I'll add it to the list of jobs. Thank you. Cast no rest for the wicked. Now we've all seen these um, enamelled advertising signs, they're, they're all over the railways and uh, uh, these came from this scale model scenery pack, um, engine shed office part 4, um, they do do others and uh, hold on a minute, as you can see these have been robbed. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, I wasn't blaming you. Anyway, there's lots of manufacturers out there who, who make these, uh, there's tiny signs and I do think they look effective once they're on the walls and uh, as you know we've got plenty of walls to put these on, uh, really tiny birds, custard and all sorts, BP. Right, that's enough of me waffling on. Yes, get on with your job. So as you can see I've added a few to this wall already. I'm not going to absolutely plaster them but maybe one in between each window. Only on this side mind, the, um, the good side. Because when you think about it the passengers are standing over there, they're looking straight across. And uh, hence why there's advertising enamel signs on these walls. There's a little um, notice board there probably telling you what goods are coming in so it's, it's little details it's all about the details so what we're going to start with we're going to start with the columns um, I've already added some L in the R um, destination advertising signs uh, not too many just a couple on the pillars I might add some more on the pillars here but uh, what I want to do to finish this columns off is I've got these way out signs which have come from this sheet here. Uh, basically I'm going to glue these back to back and then I'm going to make a copper hanging sign for it because you can't just stick them edgeways on. Um, so I'm going to make some sort of um, hanging bracket for them. I'll just glue them two together. So that's the way out sign done, nice and easy. So the next thing with this bit of copper wire, I want to create a swirling sign just big enough to hold the way out. But I'm going to create some if I can bend it around here we'll give it a go right, something something like that as you can see I've just coiled that around if I straighten that up a little bit 
So I've managed to straighten the wire out and I've, I've cut the curl even smaller as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is just lie it against the sign and work out where I want to fold it. Now it's going to sit on there so I can't, there's not a lot of room there so if I just measure it there's about three, three and a half, three and a half foot of room. So if I just uh, you have know, something that bend up, I can do about two, two and a half foot. So what I'll do is I'll hold that there. Right, so I've bent it at 90. I'll try and get that uh, bend a little bit squarer. Against the sign, it so looks about right. So what I do then? So I can where I want to bend it next. Right, it's just about there. What I'll do now is I'll bend that back towards there. Bend it round again, nice and tight. Cut the excess off. Squeeze them circles together. And what I'll do now is I'll just get a little bit of solder and join that semicircle to the flat piece. And then I've got a hanging bracket. So here it is, it's, it's super glued onto the copper wire. So all I've got to do now is paint the copper wire and then we can glue it onto the columns. So another little detail I'm going to add to the columns is these um, train announcement speakers. Uh, I've already cut a pair out and I'm going to stick one just about here in the middle between the footbridge and the end and the other one's going to go about here I think so I'm only going to put two on there and then once they're super glued on uh, I can paint them up like the ones on platform one so they're quite nicely detailed when you look at them as you can see so I shall glue them on. So that's the sign finished and the train announcement speakers. Um, as you can see just down there. So it's time to move on to the end wall. So what I'm doing now is I'm just um, doing all the concrete edges first and then I will do the sills. I'm using a mat. 240. It's the same concrete grey I used for the lintels on the pillars. But uh, with this grey, it's going to be weathered as well, so it will tone it down. So the trick here is try not to get any on the brickwork if you can help it. You do just have a cotton but handy. And just brush it off. So that's the concrete finished and it just changes the appearance of the card. Um, chamfering it the edges there's two things, it hides the sharp edge of the card 
and it looks like it's been rounded off with a trowel. So the next thing I'm going to do is the sandstone sills. So now as you can see I've done all the sills now with a Humbrum Mat 148 and it's slowly changing the look of the building. So all I've got to do now is hide these white bits of card using my special mixture. So my special mixture, all it is is 50-50 water and PVA wood glue and if you go onto um, Medcalf's website and look at their instructional videos on how to get rid of the white lines on their card kits all they do is use acrylic artist paints so all I want to do now is mix up a little bit of red and a little bit of black to get the colour I want so I'm adding a bit of red now it's quite tough to get out there so I'm just going to let that drop in mix it with a brush pinky colour at the minute but uh, I might need to add a bit more red. I added a little bit of black and this is what I've come up with. It's kind of like a darkish pinkish colour and it's quite watery. So what we'll do now is we'll start putting it on the card and try and hide some of these white lines. Well, you're going to need some q-tips to do this and it's just a case of putting it on and then wiping it off. So, so even the window arches um, get a little bit of paint as well. Now it does take a little bit of um, practice to get the right colour you require. fade away like some there there's lots of white bits in there Right, so now that I've hidden all the white card, now it's time to add some grime. Or less doing the same thing again. So, with the weathering, um, the areas that I'm going to add grime is along these areas here. Maybe a few bits streaking down off the windowsills and across the tops there. Maybe a little bit down there, with uh, adding a little bit of gr green as well. Um, so what I've done is, I've done exactly the same as what I've done before. I've mixed up some PVA 50-50 and I've just added the black. Um, it's gone a kind of greyish colour, because that's probably mixing in with the white PVA. And uh, let's have a go, shall we? 
basically the same as before we're just rubbing it on and then wiping it off so as you can see it's very subtle it hasn't um, bled into the card as much so it does, it does seem to work and what I'll do is I'll just run a little bit along the concrete as well not too much and then just wipe it off Now with the sandstone, as you can see, I've done that one and there's hardly any change from doing this one, so I'll just do this one. Right, as you can see, I've, I've done that one. And I'm just going to add a little bit to this one, try not to get too much on the bricks. Just leave it on there for a few seconds and then wipe it off. It just tones it down a little bit. As you can see, you can see I've finished the, the black off, which actually dirties it up a little bit so I just need to add some green grime so I'm just gonna just put it in a few places just to look as though there's some mold where it's coming down it's just rain water really where the rain's been and just take it off a little bit like so. So now we're going to take a look at the uh, centre wall uh, as I call it because um, it's been weathered the same as the other walls. Um, I haven't had any um, green slimy onto this because it's under cover um, but as you can see I've added two LEDs one over each door and I've also put away the corner strengtheners now the reason being is I'm going to add some glazing to the canopy. Now if I turn the wall around, you can see the cables here for the LEDs. Um, what I've done here is I've insulated both sides of the LED using heat shrink. And then I've gone over the top with another piece of heat shrink so they're well and truly covered. These cables you will not see when it's finished because the roof is slightly taller here as you can see so it'll be hidden in this area here so the next piece I'd like to concentrate on is the actual roof section and I've cut it out here ready so this will then just sit on there with the glazing I'm going to copy the design of the glazing that's on the other canopy on the other side of the station. So it'll be long windows with a single um, frame across the centre. So I've just placed the centre wall back into the rear of the building there just to give you guys and myself a look of what's to come. And uh, I think once that's done with the windows matching the way that I've done the windows here with this long windows um, separ separated by very thin bars, window bars. And if I do the same there it'll kind of blend in as well. So yeah, I like the way the, the weathering of, of the walls has turned out. I'm quite pleased with that. Gives it a really old look there I think. Right, other, one other thing I've done is I have cut back one of the swirls 
on the way out sign. There was two there and I just got rid of one of them. So it looks more realistic with just the one. So let's have a look from the look at the station from the other side. It's been a while since we looked at this side of the other station. Um, it's hard to think back in March that this would be sitting here now. There's still a lot of work to do on this side. Um, as you can see, there's a pencil mark there on the on the baseboard. That's for the um, Medcalf stones, paving stones, and there'll be a cobblestone street along here as well, uh, with a couple of lamp posts. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's. Mm, it's a never-ending build. And there's a view of the building on platform too. Right, I think that's all from me this week. Um, stay safe everybody. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. And uh, there might even be bonus video who knows take care everybody bye for now bye